saw Miss Glamorazzi film this tag maybe a couple of weeks ago um, I've been so dying to film it myself and so many people have done it since and I've watched every single one that's popped up in my subscription box. It's my current favourite video to watch so if you've done your own please leave it as a video response because they are my absolute favourite videos of at the moment to watch right now. Um, so yeah I'm going to get into it. There's several questions. I had to do a little bit of prep, go and collect things because I sat down to do the tag and then I remembered that there were things to show so yeah I'm completely prepared for it today and here are the questions. Number one, favourite fall lip product. Now just to kind of you know we don't call it fall in the UK we call it autumn but I'm sure you've heard that a million times before and um, but for the purpose of the video boo -boo, for the purpose of this video I will call it fall because obviously it's a fall tag. Um, my current favourite fall lip product is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Crush I believe this is called. Crush yes it's this shade. Um, from Revlon obviously and I only got this a couple of weeks ago but I'm completely in love with it. I'm actually wearing it right now but I'm not wearing it um, kind of full pigment if you will. Um, you could wear this really really sheer down like I'm wearing it right now and just kind of like a wash like a stain um, or you can wear it quite bright and bold but I completely love the fact that this really does stain your lips and stay on for so long compared to the other one that I really disliked that they brought out last year this is so much so much better so I already have the honey one I picked this one up didn't really think I was going to like it that much I thought it was going to be a lot deeper than it is but it's actually really wearable and I've been wearing it to work a lot of days so pretty much all of my videos my vlogs and stuff this month I've been wearing this and I'm completely in love with it and other than this I just wear lip balm most days I'll wear lip balm to work or wherever. That's pretty much it for kind of autumn, winter. I'm a big lip balm fan. Number two is favourite fall nail polish. And this is just too hard. Um, I picked three. My probably previous to this year, my favourite fall nail polish was my Private Jet by OPI, which is this shade. And it's this kind of, it's supposed to be like a runway, I think. And it's this, oh, it's just amazing. It's so difficult to describe, but hopefully it's picking up on camera. I'm sure you've seen it before. It's kind of a golden brownie, glittery, very, very difficult colour to describe, but it's just amazing and it does translate onto the nails and it's just like nothing else that I've got. I completely love that. And recently I've been tipping my nails or covering one kind of accent nail with this Extras Gold Glitter. I put this over everything. I'm in love with this and I bought it from the Extra store. I don't know if you can buy it online, but I'm pretty sure eBay has lots of versions of this kind of chunky gold glitter. But my current favourite, and I have this on my toes right now, is... Um, Bahama Mama by Essie and I wanted to get this for so long and I finally picked it up a couple of weeks ago and I'm completely in love. It's the most amazing perfect autumn fall colour and it's just like a plummy, it's just like a plummy colour. It's just really really nice and it's just so weird that it's called Bahama Mama. You would think it would have a more fall autumn winter name but no Bahama Mama it is and that's probably my favourite at the moment. Number three is favourite fall Starbucks drink. Now I actually went out of my way today to try the pumpkin spice latte I think it's called because everybody says that on all of these videos everyone's like oh my god I love this video I love this video oh my god I love this drink um until today when I watched the Sparkalicious's tag of this and she said um she doesn't like Starbucks now I do like Starbucks Starbucks is the only coffee I will drink and I like the latte and I like the caramel macchiato but I tried the pumpkin spice latte and I hated it um it was still hot when I got to my mum's house everybody tried it and nobody liked it so yeah I wouldn't recommend it People say it doesn't smell like pump, doesn't taste or smell like pumpkin, but it really, really does. Um, I'm still gonna try the gingerbread one for winter, kind of Christmas time, but not a fan of the pumpkin one at all. So I would still have to say caramel macchiato because that's my all-time favourite Starbucks drink. I'm pretty much the only coffee I'll drink. Favourite fall candle. This is a tough one because I have one burning in the back, and that's cranberry ice. Um, but I also have this, which is red apple wreath, and it's really tough to say. Man, my lights are so bright. Um, it's really tough to say which one I like more because they are so so different. The one I'm burning right now is super sweet whereas this one is it kind of smells like apple pie. It's a little bit foody which I don't generally like but this is a really really nice scent. It's kind of like really cinnamony and apple-y but there's something about it that makes me like it. It's not too foody. Um, I also have a couple more candles coming and I keep mentioning this but I'm going to do a candle collection on my uh, vlog channel but it's just, there's something about this, so I can't tell you which one it is, but it's either this or cranberry ice. I'm really struggling to tell you which is my favourite of the moment. Favourite fall scarf or accessory? I'm not seeing anyone talking about accessories yet. Most people have said scarves, and as soon as I saw it, I thought, I know exactly which one I'm going to talk about, and it's this one from Primark, which is showing up a lot more blue on camera. It's kind of red and purple, 
but I absolutely love it. I think I first saw it on Makeup Savvy's blog, which if I remember, I'll link below, but um, it's really, really thick and long and it stays really... Miss Glamorazzi described her scarves as fluffy and I would absolutely describe this as fluffy. It stays really full and I've had it for a year and I would buy it again if they brought it out in different colour. Or even that one, I just buy a spare. Um, but if you do see it in Primark, go and buy it because it was so cheap. It's less than £5 and I, it's so, so nice. So many people have complimented me on it and it's my ultimate awesome winter scarf. Haunted House or Haunted Hayride? Now that's kind of a tough one for me because I hate scary anything. I hate scary films. I hate... Um, just anything scary, I hate it all, all of it, I hate everything scary, I do not like to be scared, so I wouldn't like any of those things. The only thing I've actually tried is the haunted house, and even the kind of ridiculous haunted houses scare me. I, I'm scared of like spoof scary movies, so I hate anything scary at all, um, but yeah, I would just kind of blank that one out, I don't like any of those things. Favourite Halloween movie would have to be one of, um, what is it called? The Addams Family, I'm like, I was on the tip of my tongue and then it went away. The Addams Family. One of the Addams Family movies would be one of my uh, favourite Halloween movies. I was going to say Hocus Pocus, but that's because it's the only Halloween movie I could think of. And then somebody else said The Addams Family, I was like, oh, I used to love that when I was a kid. Like I say, I'm not a big spooked fan. Um, and they were just kind of fun and funny when I was a kid. I remember really liking those. But they don't show them so often on the TV anymore. Like Hocus Pocus is a big one, you'll see that every year, but I don't often see the Addams Family on TV, otherwise I would probably watch it. But again, because I'm not a big fan of being scared, I won't go out of my way to watch a Halloween, a haba, to watch a Halloween movie, unless it was something kind of nostalgic like that. But um, yeah, I would say one of the Addams Family films because they're very nostalgic for me. Favourite Halloween candy? Um, we don't really do Halloween candy here, but we do the kind of miniatures and I don't know, it's just, it was generally like Milky Ways, things that we don't generally, we wouldn't have in the house normally and I always liked them in the, not, not the tiny, tiny ones, but the, um, I want to say trial size, that's not right at all, like the bite sized ones, they were always my favourite because they were just the right amount of chocolate to fondant stuff inside ratio. Um, so they were my, almost my favourite when I was a kid, but we didn't really have Halloween candy, it's not that we had candy corn like you do in the US, so um, tough question, but I would probably say that just because I always remember picking those out of the big tub of sweets first. I mean, we always had a big, big party, even when we were little kids, because my dad used to travel to America a lot when we were kids, and when it wasn't big over here, like, you could barely even buy pumpkins in shops, and um, we were having Halloween parties, so it was really kind of unusual and we would have this big party and all my friends would come and nobody was really having Halloween parties then so now they still do the big party but it's just like everybody does it now um, whereas when I was a kid it was a bit more special maybe um, but yeah that's the kind of that's the stuff I remember the like little trial sized sweets bite sized sweets rather um, and they were my favourites what am I dressing up for Halloween as, um, for, as, hello, as for Halloween? Um, we actually already had the Halloween party and I dressed kind of just spooky because Milo was pretty scared of the face paint when he saw some the other day and he was kind of crying. So I wanted to go a little bit spooky but not too scary. Uh, so I just kind of had this long blonde hair and um, a cape and I wore all black and contoured my face a little bit spooky. There will have been a tutorial go up already. Um, but yeah, I, that's what I did. I didn't do anything kind of outlandishly. I had a big mask that you could just take off and look normal. Ella was um, a fairy witch and Milo was a pumpkin. So yeah, I, we didn't do anything really specific this year just because we were a little bit worried Milo might be scared. He was okay in the end. My mum and dad got really, really into it face paint wise and he didn't cry so he was fine. He slept most of it though. Um, so yeah, that's, that's not that interesting I guess but that's what I went as for Halloween. And lastly, what is your favourite thing about fall? 100% it is the leaves on the trees. Especially as I walk to work, I just, it's the absolute best thing in the world. This week I bought the Taylor Swift album on iTunes and I've been listening to that on my way to and from work and I just kind of watch the leaves on the trees falling in the colours and it's just, it's my absolute favourite time of year. So many people have said that. I thought that I was kind of alone in that because people seem to absolutely love summer and people are always saying, oh, I'm so glad it's summer, you know, you wear this, you wear that. I am a huge lover of autumn and winter. I just always think summer's a bit rubbish. I don't, I'm not a big fan of summer clothes. I like layers um, and boots and scarves and hats and I love all of that. So yeah, not a big summer fan. I like autumn. I don't like super hot weather. I don't like super cold weather. So autumn is probably my favorite season. And it's just the leaves on the trees are definitely, definitely my favorite over 
everything else this season brings that is definitely my favourite one. And I already can't wait to do the Christmas tag. Um, it's like like a month away or something because Christmas starts the 1st of December as far as I'm concerned and that is it. Like the tree will be up on the 1st of December and I will be doing Vlogmas and I cannot wait. Um, so I'll have in November where I just kind of intermittently vlog and then Vlogmas will come into full swing and I will be decking the halls fully cannot wait for Christmas but right now the leaves are falling off the trees and it is still fall and I love it so thanks for watching if you haven't already please go check out my other channels and my other videos all my links below and I will see you guys in my next video bye